this is Omid. Uh, there's Omid. a way. So that one's a way. Is that, that Omid there? Omid? Omid. Okay. Can I have that back? Here we go. Congratulations, Father whatever it is that you've got in your hand. Sana 3E. Elouis, 4B. Rohan, 4C. Katiana, 4D. Pihana, 5A. Joel, 5B. Isaac, 5C. So this is John. John is coming. Is he coming? So which one's Joel? Which way here? Joel? How, um, how do you say this? Ezekiel, 5D. Isabel, 5D. Jackson, 6A. Caleb, 6B. Rand, 60. I mean, 6C. Robert, 60. This is Robert. Could you all please give the students a round of applause? Okay, no. Now we will be now we will be introducing the second lot of the week. Thali, three A. Sarah, 3B. James, 3C. Jake, 3D. Jarrell, 3E. Jackson, 4A. Kai, 5A. Ella, 5B. Sakni, 5C. Waza, 5D. Isaac, 5C. Samur, 6A. Eva, 5B. Or 6B. Eva, 6B. Eva, 6B. She's right there. Sethman, 6D. Could you all pr please give the students a round of applause?
And the green card winners are 3E, 4C and 4D, 5A and 5B, and 6A and 6B. Now we'll be introducing the golden ticket winners. Alana 3B. Jack 4C. Jaden 5C. Ava 60. Now it's time for the Specialist Awards. For art is 6A and 6B. For music, it's 6D. For drama, it's 3A. For ICT, it's 3C. For PE, it's 4C and 4D. And for Spanish, it's 4B. This week, there is a Spanish award. 4B, please collect your trophy. Now it's time for house points. Coming fourth is Merrigan. Coming third is Van Wyss. Coming second is Lindsay. And okay. And coming first is Ketna. Who's next? Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Mr. Cunningham would like to say something again. Yeah, you just can't stop Mr. Cunningham talking, really, can you? Sorry about that. Um, just a couple of things. It was interesting. Mr. Byrne was just noting um, the reasons why we get the awards. And we have had a focus. We do the You Can Do It program, and we have a specific focus for two weeks, and these two weeks have been using your manners. So, and that has been wonderful this week. I put an example in the newsletter this week. Um, of I had some other visitors last week at the school and we were walking back from the community centre and I honestly cannot remember who this person was. If it was you, stand up. But somebody waited for about two minutes while we were walking up and just waited at the door of the admin building to open it up while we came through. I honestly can't remember who it was. No, must, must have been a... Was it you? Thank you. Stand up. I, honestly, I put it in the news there and I could not remember who it was. Thank you so much. The manners you showed doing that were wonderful. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. 
next week's week nine next week last week of term now the focus next week is being a responsible learner you will do that very very simply by following the simple so everybody next week following the five golden rules and we'll finish off the term really being uh, uh, responsible learners that'd be wonderful monday what's happening photo day please don't forget full school uniform make sure you've got a nice clean uniform you come on and your hair beautifully done on on monday what's we got a busy week what's happening on wednesday next week right free dress day Shh, thank you thank you a free dress day so we can raise some money for our, our new well vision child obviously thursday we do finish at 2 30. make sure your parents know it's an early it's an early pickup next week and last friday i i just need to congratulate you the cross-country event last friday fantastically organized by lots and lots of staff and have you you haven't got your prizes yet have you no uh, have you all put your orders in yes you all know what you're getting okay i know we sort of haven't found out how much money um we we raised because obviously that the people who helped organize it we do have to pay them some money obviously uh for the prizes but you have raised a lot of money uh last last friday and again the way the event was run the way you encouraging each other during that was fantastic give yourselves a really big big round of applause okay i have just one more announcement to make which might come to as a bit of a surprise to some of you one of our staff members who's been here for a few years now actually has picked up a position at another school and at the end of this term that person will be leaving to be working in a secondary school out in Melton. And that person is Mr. Fairclough. So, Mr. Fairclough's skills, as you know, he's got amazing skills with media and media arts and so forth, and he is going to now be teaching some secondary um, students those skills in the middle to to low to up into the middle of secondary college. So we really thank Mr. Fairclough for the work that he's done while at Kilbury Valley Primary School. And, and now you're going to give an even louder round of applause, giving him encouragement for starting his new job. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Now next week... Thank you. We won't be having any assembly next week, so this is the final assembly for the term. So, being, because we're finishing on Thursday, so uh, we won't interrupt the specialist sessions on the Thursday to have the, to have the final assembly. So again, I do hope you have a wonderful holiday, but not, ne not till a week, out, a week away. It's usually we say this in the last day. Can you just one more time thank Mr Byrne for giving his time and coming and doing that presentation today? Thank you. And I'll hand back to the captains and have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Thank you for coming to this week's assembly. Can you all please quietly stand up and face your teachers?